win. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to That's English. Hello. I had no idea you were so competitive. Oh, yes, I always play to win. <laughs> and I thought you were such a nice, sweet person. <laughs> Today's episode is all about competition. We see people winning and losing. <laughs> we meet two brothers, Jason and Charlie. As you watch, answer this question. What kind of relationship does Jason have with his brother, Charlie? No! <laughs> Bad luck. Do you want a glass of water? Or a shower, maybe? Good job, Anthony. <laughs> you really taught me a lesson. I thought you wouldn't be able to beat me, but you did. Pretty easily. Well, I, I did have an advantage. It's my game console, and I know how it works. Face it, I lost. Fairly badly. But good for you, mate. <laughs> have you been training? Working on your punches? <laughs> Sorry about the mug. Sometimes I can't control my power. You know. No problem. I'd finished it anyway. Oh, that'll be my brother, Charlie. We're going running this afternoon. He's probably texting to say he can't come. Scared I'll beat him. <laughs> OK, Charlie. See you later. But I think I should warn you, I'm going to win. <laughs> when we were kids, I could always beat him pretty easily, but it's somewhat more difficult these days. I can't let him win. He's family. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks. I better go. I need to finish some reports for work and email them this afternoon. Jason, you can't work today. It's Sunday. Yes, but I have to keep ahead of the game. Don't want some new boy taking my place. See you tomorrow for tennis. Bye. Don't worry. I can tidy up. Come on, big brother! You can do it! <laughs> yeah! Thanks. Well done. You beat me pretty convincingly. But I'm somewhat tired. I boxed 10 rounds this morning. Well, good for you. <laughs> Can you box? I'm pretty good, actually. So, what's your news? Uh, Jess is pregnant. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. <laughs> good for you. Congratulations. I thought you and Jess weren't able to have kids. We had IVF. That's why we've been so broke lately. Uh. You'll make great parents. So, where are you planning to live? That's the other great news. We've been talking about moving for ages, but we can never afford it. But I've been promoted, and I've got a massive pay rise, so we can find a bigger place. <laughs> Mum and Dad are delighted. <laughs> First grandchild, eh? <laughs> yeah, I bet they're thrilled. They're over the moon. Come on, we can race that tree. Well, Charlie's doing well. He's going to buy a bigger house, he's been promoted at work, and his wife's going to have a baby. So, did you answer the question, what kind of relationship does Jason have with his brother Charlie? Oh, that'll be my brother Charlie. We're going running this afternoon. He's probably texting to say he can't come. Scared I'll beat him. <laughs> I can't let him win. He's family. I'd say he has a very competitive relationship with his brother. Don't you agree? Yes, he seems to. I've always competed with my sister, and I've usually won. I'm glad I'm not your sister. Did you notice how Jason described his actions? I thought you wouldn't be able to beat me, but you did. Pretty easily. Face it, I lost. Fairly badly. 
When we were kids, I could always beat him pretty easily, but it's somewhat more difficult these days. We can use modifiers like fairly, pretty and somewhat with an adverb to describe actions. For example, Samantha beat me pretty convincingly at cards. Yes, I won the game somewhat easily. <laughs> Let's get back to the video and see how Jason gets on in his tennis match against Anthony. As you watch, answer this question. What reason does Jason give Anthony to explain how he feels about his brother? Woo! 40 15! Match point! Yeah. Come on, Jason. In tennis, you need to concentrate, remember? Ace! Game, set, and match! Woo! Well done. He didn't have to hit it that hard. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I thought you'd be able to hit it. I could have returned it, but the sun was in my eyes. It made me miss the shot. <laughs> Incidentally, I saw Charlie yesterday. Really? Yeah. Look. Great. Well, good for him. Yeah. And I ought to let you see these, I suppose. Gee, that's a lot of house. It's massive. I'd have to work 24 hours a day to pay the mortgage on a house like that. Oh, Charlie doesn't have to worry about that. Jets have to buy this to <laughs> cut the grass. Charlie thinks they need to employ a gardener. Jason, you have to try and be happy for Charlie and Jess. They love you. You need to remember that. I know, but when we were kids, Charlie was always mum and dad's golden boy. He never had to make an effort. You should try a bit harder, Jason. You need to be more like Charlie. How about a coffee? No, I have to go. My boss told me I needed to do that report again, and I'm required to work with the new guy on it. And you don't have to tell me. The new guy is useless, right? <laughs> no, he's brilliant. Jess, hi. Congratulations, by the way. What are you doing here? I had to go for a scan. Everything's fine. <laughs> Good for you. Are you planning a trekking holiday? Uh, yes, I uh, want a bit of an adventure. Oh, you should definitely go to the Atlas Mountains. OK. Look, I have to be back in the office in 20 minutes. My boss is making me revise some project proposals. You must come round and see the new house. I made Charlie redecorate. It looks lovely now. Good job. I'd love to come. Charlie, hi, darling. I've just seen Jason. Yes, he's fine. Listen, I've just had my scan. Charlie, you need to stop asking questions. Darling, we're having twins. Yes, good for us. No, you can tell Jason yourself when he comes to see the new house. I feel somewhat sorry for Jason. He tries so hard. Well, perhaps he should stop trying to compete so much. Let's look at the question. What reason does Jason give Anthony to explain how he feels about his brother? I know, but when we were kids, Charlie was always mum and dad's golden boy. He never had to make an effort. You should try a bit harder, Jason. You need to be more like Charlie. He says that his parents preferred Charlie and told Jason that he should try to be more like him. In this part, we heard people expressing obligation and necessity in the present using verbs like need, ought to, have to and must. In tennis, you need to concentrate, remember? Yeah. 
I ought to let you see these, I suppose. No, I have to go. You must come round and see the new house. We also heard them using modal verbs in the past. He didn't have to hit it that hard. My boss told me I needed to do that report again. I had to go for a scan. We can also express obligation using make someone do something or be required to. My boss is making me revise some project proposals. And I'm required to work with the new guy on it. I hate it when someone makes me do something I don't want to do. I had a history teacher who made us learn all the names of the kings and queens by heart. Well, in our job, we're often required to learn things by heart. Yes, but we don't have to learn long lists of dates and names. True. Actually, I'm pretty good at memorising information. I'm sure you are. Now, we ought to get on with the street interviews. Yes. Back to our topic of competition. We asked people this question. In what ways are you competitive? Cooking. When my husband and I cook, I always try to be at top, even though I feel most of the time because he's the best cook compared to me. <laughs> but I'm really competitive when I'm cooking. I'm massively competitive, I think. Um, if there's some way to make a competition out of something, I will find it. Yes, <laughs> I can be quite competitive. I think it's where I've worked in retail. Um, I'm quite competitive with the other shops and um, making money and meeting the targets. Uh, yes, I am. I think it's born because I've got a twin brother. I think when we were younger we were very competitive together at school, at sports and all sorts. So competitive in the right arena, I think I'll say. Yes, very competitive. Um, I'm a triplet and the other two, my brother and my sister, is a constant competition to be the best, the fastest, the quickest, the richest, everything. I used to be competitive, I used to do a lot of sport, but now I prefer team things. So I'm not a, a competitive as a person, really. More as a, when I'm playing a team, I would like my team to win. Depends on the subject matter, the event, but not particularly competitive. Sport, I'm very competitive in sport and academically, although I don't like to show it. I'm very competitive. I like to do better than everyone else. Mm. It doesn't always work, but still. You see, Kieran, most people said they were competitive, especially twins and triplets. Yes, they're competitive in sport, at work, academically, and even in cooking. How about another game? Sure, and this time I'm going to beat you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> see you soon. Bye.